right, let's take a look at these Spawn Beauties. These were collected by me earlier this morning. Oh, yeah, look at these little dudes. Oh, look at that twin. Ooh, nice. Ooh, I... Uh oh, I think I hit Barn Huntsman. Oh, the mud, baby. oh yeah, there's a nice one too there in the back. Look at that. Look at the sparkle on oh, it. Did I find that? Can you get over that? Can you get over that? Now look yeah. at this DT here, folks. Oh man, is that oh, nice? Let me turn it around. For now me. these just come off so nice. Oh my goodness. Oh. These just come off so nice. Let me rotate the thing. Oh, a scalino dendron. A scarlino hedron. Ooh, that was a booty shooter piece for sure. Booty shoot, booty shoot. Ooh. Booty shoot, booty shoot. See, this shoot. would look ugly from this side, but on the other side, it, it's ugly. It's ugly. Yeah, real ugly. All right, but that's a nice piece, though. Hey, watch out for that DT, man. You're going to bust it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's take a look at this one here on the far left. Oh, Ooh, let me rotate it around. Oh, uh, is there any damage on that one? Well, this part here looks kind of unusually damaged here, but... But it's not. In it, fact, it's... As a, we can see, let's get a close-up of that. Let's get a close Oh, you hear that? Oh, can you hear that? It's about a 500 stick dynamite shot. That was out. a blast, folks. I don't know if you could hear it. It mm. sounded like thunder. Okay, look at the bottom side of it. Even rocks have butts. <laughs> oh, uh oh Too much Ooh, mud. That's, oh, oh, Robert Lee, so these are things you can't have. Who did that? You just <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Brad, turn that back around there, Brian. No, 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 the good saw. The good saw. We haven't had a good saw. The good saw, you dumb. Man. Turn it around. Okay. There you oh. go. Yeah, turn around a little bit more. Oh, oh. There you go. What do you think? My hand is one of them things on home shopping club. There you club. go. There you go. All right. How about those for some beautiful specimens, wow. folks? Oh, show them the ones that I there just talked about. Yeah. All right. A dynamic high shot. Well, on the second scaffold, at least, at least 10 feet above the hard deck. What do you got down there, Big B? See that beautiful butterfly queen there? Oh, very nice, very nice. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. nice. One of the most unusual pieces yes, of Yes, well, they... Last 15 minutes. Like we said, we're about 10 feet above the hard deck. And if you follow up the crack, up the crack of the crack, you can see right there it thins down a little bit. We didn't get a whole lot of material out of there. But uh, as we're moving up the crack, you're now looking at least 20 feet above the hard deck. I know it's hard to believe. <laughs> But up there, there's another 10 feet. It's not hard to believe around here. It's at least 30 feet to the top of the crack, and we, we just can't get the big pieces. They're just too heavy, and it's too tight. If they fall on us, they will kill us dead. Hey, it's very nice. Very nice. Not only have dead it's dead. very tight back here, very tight, though. I'm in the same type of tightness on this end of the crack that you can't see behind the camera. As you can see it just going all the way down, then it blossoms right back out, and that's where we've been doing most of our collecting. That's where you can hear Brian packing. The sound you're hearing is not sheet lightning. About these for some nice aesthetic pieces. You can see three of them right there that we will collect. And there's a lovely right there hanging right on. Pick one out for Young Young. Ah, oh, yum yum. Oh, you go ahead and pick one out. I'm busy. Uh, Very nice piece right here, scalandahedron across the top of another scalandahedron. Listen to the sound effects, folks. The sound effects. <coughs> oh, oh, he's getting hurt. He's getting killed. There's, look how nicely these three are separated right here. Now, Roy, well, you got it, you damn two crew in the back. Just quiet down. Look at these nice three pieces right here just separate. They're going to come off so lovely because they're all in the mud. Just sitting there. Look, three of them right there. Wouldn't you just love to have them in your booty bag? That's why we're called the Booty Shooters because we booty eyes the place. Booty on, God. Booty on, Wayne. Oh. Oh, very nice. Look at all, look at all the sparklies. Look at all the sparklies. Oh, this plate looks a little loose right here. Let's just go ahead and crater it. Booty. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, right. It's going to about finish it for today, Monday the 21st of November. Good morning, Brushy Creek. Here we are at the start of a day. We got Brian Huntsman over here. He's fueling up the generator. This is the thing that makes our project go, provides us with power. Heart of the soul. Heart of the soul. Heart of the soul. 
provides us the power for our little little roto hammers so we can drill and feather and wedge. What are you what are you put what are you putting in there, Brian? Blood. Blood. Huh? Blood. Blood. You get this here blood from the blood bank. Oh, all right. Well, that's the first thing we do here at the Brushy Creek Mine, which is operated by the Doe Run Company, one of the major lead producers of the world. In the Byburnum Trend. We're in the Byburnum Trend of Missouri. Missouri. And we're in Drift 106, where the Mina de Calcita lays. That's where we're getting all our calcite. Now, if you come over here, this is our actual working area. Buggy. That's what we use to get up to the skip. We use that to uh, haul all the rocks. In the distance, you can see the wagon sitting on the rail system, which brings our rocks in and out of the mine. There's some boxes of packed up material. This is where we stash everything. We bring it out in little shopping baskets, bring it out in the diapers, as you can see here. Stack it up. It's ready to go into boxes. These boxes are empty with sawdust waiting to be packed. A little table here to pack up material. Here's the eating place where all the boys eat. This is our lunchroom. Nice thermos. Over here we got some of our uh, larger specimens. These are going to be individually packed in chicken boxes or custom boxes to fit the size. Got some rather large ones here in the back. They're going to have to be custom built. Very thin plates. Oh yeah, looking good, looking good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you see, we got some, uh, we got some water running on the other side. Both sides of the mine carrying water. Ah. Mm, that is a nice one there. Booty on, Garth. Booty on, Wayne. <laughs> Eugenia, what's going on, buddy? You got an ore pile? Found something. What'd you find? I don't know what this is. Like What'd you find, Eugene? I don't know. Looks like calco pyrite. Seems to be good. You think ah, it's good? Yeah. You think All it's right. worth saving? Yeah, it looks like gold. Gold? As good as this one? No, it's not as good as that one. That must have got there first. Is that a monkey boy? Gee, Lowlands, Flatland Devils, we're Ozarkians. Ozark. Ozarkians. Come on back to the Ozarks. Wake up to Missouri. Wake up to Man, Missouri. Man, that girl had a bunch of stuff that was really <laughs> nice, I guess, in her backyard. Where? Right in our front yard. Front yard? What the hell are we doing over here? Let's go over there, Mark. You think it was worth anything, Eugene? Eugene. Well, hell, well, I think so. Did you speckle frogs right away? In fact, that. I made a pile. I was supposed to take it home with me, but... How are you going to do that with your backpack? Huh? You going to backpack that all the way to California?